Hey there, space explorers. Remember first two adventures into the mysteries of the universe? Well, get ready to blast off again because we're going even deeper into space. This time, we're tackling some of the biggest and strangest things out there. We'll uncover secrets about weird objects that even scientists can't fully explain. So, put on your spacesuits and get ready to be amazed. It's going to be an awesome ride. Black holes, the universe's super hungry monsters. Imagine a monster with such a big appetite that it could eat everything in sight, even light. That's a black hole for you. These cosmic beasts are some of the strangest and most mysterious objects in the universe. What makes a black hole so hungry? Black holes are born from giant stars that have run out of fuel and collapsed. It's like squeezing a huge beach ball into something the size of a grain of sand. This makes them incredibly dense, packing a lot of matter into a tiny space. This density creates a super strong gravitational pull, which is like a giant magnet. It pulls everything nearby towards it, like a vacuum cleaner sucking up dust bunnies. Even light, the fastest thing in the universe, can't escape a black hole's grasp. That's why they're called black. They don't give off any light. The point of no return. Around a black hole, there's an invisible line called the event horizon. It's like a point of no return. If you cross the event horizon, you can never escape the black hole's pull, no matter how fast you go or how powerful your spaceship is. What happens inside a black hole? You know, this is one of the biggest mysteries of the universe. We don't really know what happens inside a black hole because nothing can come out to tell us. Some scientists think that everything that falls into a black hole gets crushed into a tiny point called a singularity. Others think that black holes might be portals to other universes or dimensions. It's all still a big puzzle. Finding black holes. If black holes are invisible, how do we even know they exist? Well, scientists are clever and they've figured out ways to detect them. One way is by looking for the effects they have on their surroundings. For example, when a black hole eats a star, it creates a bright, swirling disk of hot gas that we can see with telescopes. Another way to find black holes is by looking for gravitational waves. These are ripples in space-time caused by massive objects like black holes colliding with each other. Scientists have special detectors that can hear these waves, giving us more clues about these mysterious objects. Black holes and the universe. Black holes play an important role in the universe. They help shape the galaxies they live in and can even affect the growth of new stars. So even though they're a bit scary, they're also fascinating and important parts of the cosmos. Scientists are still learning a lot about black holes, and there are many unanswered questions, but with each new discovery, we get closer to understanding these amazing objects and their role in the universe. So next time you hear about a black hole, remember that it's not just a scary monster. It's a cosmic puzzle waiting for us to solve it. The missing twin mystery. The case of Baryon asymmetry. Imagine you have a box of building blocks. Inside, there are two kinds of blocks, red and blue. You always find them in pairs, one red and one blue block stuck together. But then, you open the box and discover there are way more red blocks than blue ones. Where did all the blue blocks go? This is a bit like the puzzle scientists face with something called Baryon asymmetry, building blocks of the universe. First, let's learn about baryons. These are tiny particles that make up everything you see around you, your toys, your food, even you. Baryons are like the bricks used to build everything in the universe. There are two main types of baryons, protons and neutrons, but here's the mystery. For every baryon, there should be an anti-baryon, a kind of opposite twin. Imagine a world with regular cats and anti-cats. Anti-cats would look almost the same, but their fur might be a different color or their purrs might sound a little strange. Scientists believe that at the very beginning of the universe, there should have been an equal number of baryons and antibaryons. But when they look around today, they see way more baryons and hardly any antibaryons. It's like all the anti-cats disappeared. This imbalance is what we call baryon asymmetry, the puzzle of the missing antimatter. What? Why is this a mystery? Well, one of the fundamental rules of nature is that everything should be balanced, like the red and blue blocks in the box but the universe seems to be playing by a different set of rules. The Big Bang, the event that kick-started our universe, should have created equal amounts of matter made of baryons and antimatter made of antibaryons. If that happened, they would have canceled each other out, leaving behind a universe filled with only energy. 
But clearly that's not what happened. Our universe is full of matter, which means something must have happened to create more baryons than anti-baryons, but what? That's what scientists are trying to figure out, the search for answers. Scientists are using all sorts of tools and experiments to crack this case. They're smashing particles together in giant machines called particle accelerators to see if they can recreate the conditions of the early universe. They're also studying tiny particles called neutrinos to see if they might have played a role in the mystery. Why does it matter? Understanding baryon asymmetry is important because it helps us understand why our universe exists the way it does. Without this imbalance, there would be no matter, no stars, no planets, and no us. So, even though it might seem like a puzzle about tiny particles, the mystery of baryon asymmetry is a big deal. It's a reminder that there's still so much we don't know about the universe, and it's up to us to keep exploring and asking questions to find the answers. Who knows? Maybe one day you'll be the scientist who solves this cosmic mystery. Cosmic Microwave Background, CMB. A super cold mystery in space. Imagine a giant pizza fresh out of the oven. It's hot and yummy, but you notice one spot that's surprisingly cold. That's kind of what scientists found when they looked at a special kind of light in space called the Cosmic Microwave Background, CMB. It's like the leftover heat from the Big Bang, the super duper explosion that started the universe. The CMB is like a picture of the baby universe, showing us how it looked a long, long time ago. It's mostly warm and even, but scientists discovered a big spot that's colder than the rest. It's like finding a cold slice of pizza in a hot box. The cold spot puzzle. This cold spot is huge. It's about 1.8 billion light years wide. That means it would take light, the fastest thing in the universe, 1.8 billion years to cross it. And it's way colder than it should be, which is a real head scratcher for scientists. The big question, why is it so cold? Scientists aren't sure yet what's causing the cold spot, but they have some ideas. One possibility is that there's a giant empty region of space in front of the cold spot, like a big hole in the universe. This empty area, called a supervoid, could be making the light pass through it colder than usual. Another idea is that the cold spot is a sign of something even more mysterious, like a different universe bumping into ours. This is a bit like two soap bubbles touching each other and leaving a mark. But this is just a theory and scientists need more evidence to figure it out. Why does it matter? The cold spot might seem like a small detail in the vast universe, but it's actually a big deal for scientists. It could tell us more about how the universe was born and how it's changed over time. Think of the cold spot like a clue in a mystery book. It might seem small, but it could be the key to unlocking a bigger secret about the universe. By studying the cold spot, scientists hope to learn more about the early universe, dark energy, and even the possibility of other universes, the search for answers. Scientists are using powerful telescopes and other tools to study the cold spot in more detail. They're looking for other clues that might help explain why it's so cold. It's like a cosmic detective story, and they're determined to solve the mystery. The cold spot reminds us that there's still so much we don't know about the universe. It's a big, mysterious place with lots of surprises waiting to be discovered. So keep looking up at the stars and stay curious, because who knows what other amazing things we'll find in the vastness of space. The mystery of fast radio bursts, FRBs. Imagine a sudden flash of light in the sky, gone in the blink of an eye. That's kind of what a fast radio burst, FRB, is like. But instead of light, it's a super fast burst of radio waves from space. These bursts last only a few milliseconds, but they're packed with so much energy that it's like a cosmic firecracker going off. What are fast radio bursts? Radio waves are a type of invisible light that we use for things like radios and cell phones, but the radio waves from FRBs are incredibly powerful and come from very far away in the universe, like billions of light years away. That's farther than you can imagine. Scientists first discovered FRBs in 2007, and since then, they've detected hundreds more. But the big mystery is, what's causing these bursts? It's like hearing a knock on the door, but you don't know who's on the other side. The cosmic puzzle. Scientists have come up with many ideas about what could be creating FRBs. 
Some think they might come from powerful events like two stars colliding or a black hole swallowing a neutron star. Others think they might be caused by magnetars, which are super magnetized dead stars. There's even a possibility that FRBs could be signals from alien civilizations. While this idea is exciting, scientists need more evidence to confirm it. Studying fast radio bursts. Scientists are using powerful telescopes to study FRBs in more detail. They're trying to pinpoint where they come from, how often they happen, and what patterns they follow. It's like trying to figure out a secret code. One exciting discovery is that some FRBs repeat. It's like hearing the same song on the radio multiple times. This gives scientists more clues about what might be causing them and where to look for answers. Why do FRBs matter? Even though FRBs are still a mystery, they're important for several reasons. Understanding the universe. By studying FRBs, we can learn more about the extreme events that happen in the universe, like colliding stars and black holes. New tools for astronomy. FRBs can act like cosmic lighthouses, helping us map out the distribution of matter in the universe and study its structure. The search for extraterrestrial intelligence. If FRBs are indeed signals from aliens, it would be one of the most important discoveries in human history. The quest continues. Scientists are on an exciting quest to solve the mystery of FRBs. With new telescopes and technologies coming online, they're hoping to find more clues and finally figure out what's causing these powerful bursts from deep space. It's a mystery that keeps us wondering and pushes us to explore the vast unknown of the universe. Who knows what other secrets we might uncover along the way? The great cosmic tug of war. The mystery of the great attractor. Imagine you're on a giant slide, zooming down towards something you can't see. It's pulling you faster and faster, but you don't know what's at the bottom. That's kind of what's happening to our Milky Way galaxy, and the mysterious force pulling us is called the Great Attractor. What is the Great Attractor? The Great Attractor is like a giant magnet in space, but it's not made of metal. Instead, scientists think it's a supermassive cluster of galaxies, with a gravity so strong it can pull in entire galaxies towards it. It's like a cosmic vacuum cleaner, sucking in everything around it, including our own Milky Way. Where is this hidden giant? The Great Attractor is located in a part of the sky that's hard to see because it's blocked by our Milky Way galaxy. It's like trying to see something behind a big tree. Scientists call this area the zone of avoidance, and it makes studying the Great Attractor very tricky. How do we know it's there? Even though we can't see it directly, scientists have found clues that tell us the Great Attractor is there. By studying the movements of galaxies, they've noticed that our Milky Way and many others are being pulled in the same direction towards the constellation Centaurus. This means there must be something massive and invisible lurking in that direction. What makes it so powerful? Scientists aren't exactly sure what makes the Great Attractor so powerful. It's possible that it's just a supermassive cluster of galaxies, much bigger than anything we've ever seen before but some scientists think it could be something even more exotic, like a giant concentration of dark matter, the mysterious substance that makes up most of the matter in the universe. The journey towards the unknown. Our Milky Way galaxy, along with hundreds of other galaxies, is on a journey towards the Great Attractor. Scientists are still trying to figure out what will happen when we get there. Will the Great Attractor pull us apart Will we merge with other galaxies, or will something completely unexpected happen? Unraveling the mystery. The Great Attractor is one of the biggest mysteries in astronomy. Scientists are using powerful telescopes and other tools to try and learn more about it. They hope that by studying this mysterious force, we can better understand how the universe works and what its future might hold. So the next time you look up at the night sky, remember that there's a giant invisible force out there pulling us towards an unknown destination. The Great Attractor is a reminder that the universe is full of surprises, and there's still so much we have to discover. Cosmic flashbulbs. The mystery of gamma ray bursts. Imagine the brightest flash of light you've ever seen, but way brighter. So bright it could outshine a million suns, that's what a gamma ray burst, GRB, is like, but instead of regular light, it's a burst of super powerful energy called gamma rays. What are gamma rays? Gamma rays are like invisible light, but with way more energy. They're similar to X-rays that doctors use to see your bones, but gamma rays are even stronger. These rays are so powerful, they can travel across the entire universe. Cosmic fireworks. Gamma ray bursts are like cosmic fireworks shows. 
but instead of happening on the 4th of July, they happen randomly in distant galaxies. They last for a very short time, sometimes just a few seconds, but they release an enormous amount of energy. In fact, a single gamma ray burst can release more energy in a few seconds than our sun will in its entire lifetime. Where do they come from? That's the big question. Scientists aren't exactly sure what causes these giant explosions, but they have some ideas. Some think they happen when giant stars collapse and form black holes. Others believe they're created when two super dense objects like neutron stars crash into each other. It's like trying to figure out what made a loud boom in the distance. Was it fireworks, thunder or something else? Scientists are using powerful telescopes to look for clues and solve the mystery of gamma ray bursts. Why are they important? Gamma ray bursts are important because they help us learn about the most extreme events in the universe. By studying them, we can understand how stars live and die, how black holes form, and even how the universe itself evolved. They're also important because they can tell us about things happening in faraway galaxies. Since gamma rays can travel such long distances, they act like messengers from across the universe, bringing us information about places we can't see directly. Are they dangerous? Don't worry, gamma ray bursts are very rare and usually happen far away from Earth. They're not dangerous to us here on our planet. But if a gamma ray burst happened close by, it could cause some problems. The intense radiation from the burst could damage our atmosphere and even harm living things. The search for answers. Scientists are using amazing tools like the Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope to detect and study gamma ray bursts. With each new burst they discover, they get closer to solving this cosmic mystery. So next time you see fireworks on a special occasion, remember that there are even bigger and brighter fireworks shows happening in the universe. And scientists are working hard to understand these amazing events and what they can teach us about the cosmos. The fate of the universe. What happens next? Imagine the universe as a giant storybook and we're only just starting to read it. We know how the story began with a big bang, but what happens in the middle and how will it end? That's one of the biggest mysteries scientists are trying to solve. The expanding universe, growing up fast. We know the universe is getting bigger and bigger, like a balloon being blown up. Scientists discovered this by observing that distant galaxies are moving away from us, and the farther away they are, the faster they're going. This tells us the universe is still growing from the initial bang, but will the universe keep growing forever? Or will it eventually stop and maybe even shrink back down? It's like wondering if a tree will keep growing taller and taller, or if it will eventually stop growing and start to wither away. Dark energy, the mysterious push. Scientists believe a mysterious force called dark energy is responsible for the universe's accelerating expansion. It's like an invisible hand pushing the galaxies apart, making the universe grow faster and faster. We don't know much about dark energy yet, but it's a big part of the universe's story, the big freeze or the big crunch. There are two main ideas about what might happen to the universe in the future. One is called the big freeze. In this scenario, the universe keeps expanding forever, but it gets colder and colder as things spread out. Eventually, it would become so cold that nothing could survive. The other idea is called the big crunch. In this scenario, the universe's expansion eventually slows down and then everything starts falling back together. It would be like the balloon deflating and everything coming back to a single point. Another possibility? Some scientists think there might be a third option, where the universe keeps expanding, but at a slower and slower pace. It's like the balloon still getting bigger, but just a tiny bit at a time. The mystery continues. Right now, we don't know which of these endings is the most likely. It's like trying to guess the ending of a book before you've finished reading it. Scientists are studying the universe and dark energy to learn more and hopefully figure out the answer. So the next time you look up at the stars, remember that the universe is still on an adventure. We're all part of this cosmic story and we don't know yet how it will end. But that's part of the fun. Wow, space explorers, our journey through the mysteries of the universe has been amazing, hasn't it? We've uncovered some truly mind-blowing secrets about space. But the fun doesn't stop here. There's still so much more to discover and explore. Get ready for part four of our Mysteries of the Universe series, where we'll dive into even more incredible cosmic wonders. 
Make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on the next chapter of our adventure. Until then, keep looking up and keep your curiosity alive.